You are listening to The Centropic Oracle, an audiobook podcast of science fiction and fantasy short stories that make you think and feel. Quiet, the Tiger Lies Dreaming, written by Brandon Nolta, read by Pam Kearns. Quiet, the Tiger Lies Dreaming in her bed, rails up to keep her from falling. The Tiger's room is in shadow and soft colors light blue and cool white, but not her sigil hues, crimson, deep black, violent violet. This is not her life, not one she would have chosen. The tiger opens her eyes, awakened by a streak of memory or a sound she cannot identify. Though her mind is fogged, her vision remains sharp, her gaze flicks to the doorway expecting what all tigers expect in the rush and fury of blood. But that is not what she sees. The shape at her door bows stiffly at precisely the correct angle. Sinusoidal curves and artfully arranged LEDs shift in an approximation of humanity. The tiger is not surprised, not exactly. Even failing, The tiger still recognizes the gift to humanity that made her family's fortunes and elevated their names. Part of her, untouched by decay, believes her first design work may still thrive in this creature. Your medication, the shape at the door says. The tiger does not acknowledge it as the machine glides into her room. Silently and respectfully per its programming, It approaches the tiger's bedside. Even as her heart pounds, she cannot help noting the precise degree of deference the machine displays. The machine cannot be anything other than proper. Spindly articulated fingers slip a pair of white pills into the tiger's palm. Another metallic hand, graceful but firm, offers a paper cup of water. The tiger swallows her medication drinks from the cup, and sighs. She looks around her shadowed room of light blue and cool white, pondering. The machine waits, silently recording her vitals. Machine, the tiger says. Yes. Do you know the story of the thousand cranes? A momentary silence. Yes. The tiger smiles. Its warmth surprises her. Bring me paper. The machine nods, backs out of the tiger's room. It does not find the tiger's request unusual. The tiger's days are most likely coming to their terminus, the machine knows, and keeping her comfortable until the end is its mission. It has noted many times that occupation with a hobby or activity can be of great benefit. Pushed by focus and newfound patience, shapes form under the tiger's trembling fingers. Lopsided boxes, uneven stars, creatures with too many limbs or too few. The tiger creates, rages, throws them aside, demands more paper. Without complaint, the machine brings the tiger medicine, food, focus. It cleans up her destruction studies her trembling but skilled movements, and follows her attention, patient and perfect in its solicitude. Days vanish, visitorless, all the tiger's ambush driven away by death or fear of her relentless nature. Only the machine tends the tiger in her lair, writing her coda in data points, log events, and observations of medical value. Shadows lengthen with the season and the tiger comes to know that time is short. Her life has narrowed to food, pills, sleep, and shadows, and when she remembers, she rages against it. Restless, the tiger tosses in her bed, shoulder occasionally banging against the rails that hold her in. She wishes to get up, walk around, see the sky one more time, but her body is failing in sync with her mind. In her lucid moments, the tiger finds this funny and laughs bitterly. She opens her eyes, sees the machine sitting by her bed, waiting. The tiger has come to believe the machine gives her privacy, 
though she cannot prove it or even ask most days. She reaches for it. Gently, the machine takes her hand as if lifting an eggshell. The burnished alloy is cool against the tiger's skin. For you, the machine says, and nods at the folding table clipped over her lap. She looks at the tabletop, eyesight still sharp in the gloom. A glorious crimson tiger stands, proud and ferocious, no larger than a matchbook, precise, impeccable, geometric perfection that resolves into muscular shoulders, regal bearing, and a whiplash tail. Impossibly, deliriously, she reads what she thought were imperfections along the predator's ribbed side, a second glance revealing them as the characters of her name. The tiger turns to the machine. She struggles to speak, but the words are gone, even as the idea burns in her eyes. The machine nods, bows to the tiger. It holds the tiger's hand until long after the tiger has melted into the shadows and left her skin behind, long after the machine's work is done. We hope you enjoyed Quiet the Tiger Lies Dreaming by Brandon Nolta, read by Pam Kearns. If you'd like to learn more about the author and narrator of this story or make a donation to them, follow the story page link in the description. If you would like to submit a story for consideration or apply to be a narrator, a link to our submission guidelines is in the description. <laughs>